Hey everyone, it's Mariana, and for this 13 Days of Halloween video, I thought I'd do something a little bit different and show you part of my Funko Pop collection. If you've seen my haul videos, you know I'm a bit of a Funko Pop collector, and I've decided to focus mostly on villains, so I thought I'd show you which ones I've got so far. This here is Daisy Damargu from The Hateful Eight. She looks pretty beat up, but that's how things are in the movie, so they made her look pretty accurate. I actually have Kurt Russell and Samuel L. Jackson Funkos from that movie as well, but since they're not villains, Daisy is the only one I'm showing off today. Next up is Alex DeLarge from A Clockwork Orange. I actually just watched that movie and that guy is pretty messed up. Awesome hat though. Now, when it comes to Magneto, it's kind of up for debate whether he's a villain or not. For me, he leans a bit more anti-hero than villain, but that kind of depends on which story you consider. He's definitely the antagonist in the movies though, so there he is. I don't know why they made him a bubblehead, by the way. One of my favorite Funko Pops, Jareth from The Labyrinth, I think they did a particularly great job on him when it comes to the details, and plus, it's it's essentially a David Bowie Funko Pop, so you can't go wrong here. On to Game of Thrones, of course, I had to have Cersei. I do really hope they release a short-haired version with the black dress from the finale of season 6 as well, and then I'll have two. And here are the Night King on the left and the White Walker on the right. Love these guys with their crazy blue eyes over here. I do have quite a few other Game of Thrones Funko Pops but these three are my only evil ones. Of course, this villains collection would not be complete without Sauron because we all know how I feel about the Lord of the Rings and this happens to be another one of my favorite Funko Pops because the details on this guy are awesome. Continuing with the fantasy theme, here is Voldemort and a Dementor. Voldemort is obviously pretty plain, but I felt like I definitely needed him in my collection. The Dementor though, this guy looks pretty amazing and creepy. I've actually considered getting a second one just so the two of them can surround Voldemort and make things look extra evil. This freaky thing here is the mother ghost from Crimson Peak. She's not particularly a villain in that movie, but she looks pretty damn evil, so I had to have her. I still think that movie is really underrated and misunderstood, by the way. Now, I do have a bit of a Blizzard collection going on. I have a few more non-villains that I'm not showing today, but these two are my favorite World of Warcraft villains. Illidan on the left and the Lich King Arthas on the right. Another one of my Blizzard guys is Diablo. I do think he looks awesome, but they could have done a better job making him look closer to what he looks like in the game. More bubbleheads, this time from Star Wars The Force Awakens. I have no idea why all of the Star Wars Funko Pops are bubbleheads, but here are Kylo Ren and Captain Phasma. For some reason, I still haven't gotten a Darth Vader one, which I need to fix soon. This one is the Xenomorph from the Alien franchise, a really creepy looking thing. Obviously, with Alien and Aliens being among my favorite movies, I had to have this one. Hannibal Lecter from Silence of the Lambs. Do I need to say more? I like that he looks different from a lot of my other Funko Pops, though, because he's in restraints, so that immediately makes him stand out. My friend actually gave this one to me recently because she just knows me too well. And speaking of Hannibal, this is Wendigo from the TV series. I love this one just because of how creepy and yet simple he looks. He definitely looks like something that would visit you in your nightmares. And here is the Pumpkin King, who I think is the perfect Halloween Funko Pop. I mean, come on. Just look at this guy. Finally, my last two Funko Pops are characters from the Master of Horror himself, Wes Craven. This guy is obviously Ghostface from Scream, which is my favorite slasher and the movie I can endlessly rewatch. And last, but certainly not least, 
Freddy Krueger. I have no idea why I still don't have A Nightmare on Elm Street on Blu-ray, which is something I obviously need to own, but that's why I don't have any kind of cool background for him. But here he is in all of his evil glory. That's it for my Villains Funko Pop collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, even though it's a little bit different from what I normally post, and I will definitely be back with my face on screen tomorrow. Let me know if any of you are Funko Pop collectors as well and if you focus your collection on anything specific like villains or a specific fandom I'd love to know what you guys collect so let me know in the comments below I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and if you did enjoy it please don't forget to give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I hope you're having an awesome day and I will see you tomorrow with my next video bye